our next movie is Train T2 Train Spotting. The boys from the original Train Spotting, Renton played by Ewan McGregor, Begbie played by Robert Carlyle, Stoddard played by Steven Robertson, and Spud played by Ewan Bremer, are joined this time with a very beautiful girl from Bulgaria, an actress, Angela Nadyolkova. As we left them, the Ewan McGregor character, Renton, had taken off with the boy's stolen money. Begbie had gotten uh, blamed for the robbery. He got 20 years plus in prison. He escapes during this uh, movie. And so, Renton shows up. He's taken the money. As you know, he's run off with it. He actually went to Denmark where he tried to hook up with a girl and start a new life. He couldn't do it. He comes back to rescue his friend Spud, the um, sick boy, I guess they were calling him. Complete heroin addict. He's lost everything. He's lost his job. He's The drugs have taken over his life, so he decides to kill himself by putting a bag over his head, laying down, dying. But he gets rescued by Renton. And they go off to meet Stoddart, who's now a, into... Um, making porn movies but he's also trying to in, use entrapment to get politicians or higher ups to have bizarre sex with uh, prostitutes and then he'd film it or one prostitute in particular his girlfriend because he wants to start a brothel so Renton shows up he comes in starter decides he's going to uh, screw Renton over pay him back for what he did taking off with all the money but he finds that as time passes, they become friends again, and they decide to go into business to start the brothel. And they they bring Sick Boy in, Spud. Uh, Brenton helps him get off drugs, clean up his life. But the mafia intervene. The local mafia in London, inter or I mean Edinburgh, Scotland. This is where this takes place in Scotland. Intervene and stop the brothel from being built under penalty of death because the mafia have no interest in sharing their their wealth with these guys. Meanwhile Begbie has escaped from prison and when he finds out that Renton is in town and he decides to take revenge on him for leaving him holding the bag and getting 20 years in prison he decides to get revenge on him and tries to kill him. There's this big attempted murder scene at the end that's absolutely spectacular the way it was choreographed and written one of the best parts of the movie besides uh, the actress Angela Nedyelkova who plays um, Stoddart's girlfriend in his mind anyway she doesn't really she hasn't really connected herself to Stoddart Stoddart's just uh, seemingly using her as his girlfriend but also as a setup for the politicians and the higher ups that he wants to frame and uh, he promised her to be the head of the brothel but all that falls apart she actually also intervenes in sick boy's life spud and helps him to see that he's actually a fantastic writer and should make a book and it's because of her intervention in his life that uh, Spud goes back to his family and readjusts in the end, becoming a normal person, I guess. But she also hooks up with uh, Renton, and they become actually love interests throughout this movie. Uh, T2 Train Spotting is an excellent, an absolutely excellent adventure movie. It's a uh, a perfect 20 year update on what happened to these boys and where they ended up in life. I don't think they can possibly make a third movie but this is uh, just well written, well done, well acted and is just kind of a beautiful movie, interesting movie to watch about the four lads the four drug addicts from Scotland who tried to make it big through uh, robbery and uh, keeping their habits going the reason why I liked the first train spotting movie was because it was um, it was just so different. It it, it kind of reminded me of Clockwork Orange, but not to the. It wasn't extreme like Clockwork Orange, but it was extremely interesting. 
very much recommend T2 Train Spotting as a entertaining film that you'll enjoy.